Does hyperbaric oxygen help patients with Parkinson's? Maybe you or someone you love or a patient's been recently diagnosed. You're looking for other options outside of or in addition to the standard of care. Today, we're gonna to cover why hyperbaric oxygen may be helpful in these cases. So there actually are a few studies looking at using hyperbaric oxygen for patients diagnosed with Parkinson's, and the majority of those look favorable, and we're gonna discuss the reasons why. At the same time, using hyperbaric for Parkinson's would be considered off-label. In other words, it's not an FDA-approved indication for Parkinson's, but quite honestly, a lot of the things we use hyperbaric oxygen for are considered off-label. And while there are not that many studies on Parkinson's and hyperbaric oxygen, there's a component to Parkinson's that's very similar to other neurological degenerative diseases, which we have covered in the past. So today we're gonna to cover some of the overall concepts of neurological degenerative diseases, because quite honestly, there is a lot of overlap between most of them. And then we'll also cover what it may do for patients specifically with a Parkinson's diagnosis. So when we talk about chronic degenerative diseases, especially chronic neurological degenerative diseases, there are certain patterns around chronic neurological diseases. Loss of stem cells, chronic inflammation, mitochondrial dysfunction or lowered cellular energy production, chronic tissue hypoxia, and vascular damage and capillary damage. So regardless of what chronic degenerative neurological disease we're talking about, hyperbaric has the ability to reduce inflammation. It's been well studied to do that, including neurological inflammation. There's an angiogenic component to hyperbaric, meaning it literally helps to heal the vasculature, helps to heal the endothelial lining, and literally rebuilds the microcirculation where gas exchange is occurring. We know that hyperbaric oxygen will increase oxygen levels where there's areas of hypoxia. We also know that it's able to stimulate stem cell mobilization. And that's not just mesenchymal stem cells inside of our body, but also central nervous system stem cells, enabling our central nervous system to heal and improve synapse connections and overall neurogenesis. Just like the majority of other off-label diseases that we cover on this channel, when we talk about off-label use of hyperbaric, we have to talk about mechanisms of action. And so we look at a disease process and we say, what are the processes going on inside this person? Inflammation, vascular compromise, hypoxia, reduction in stem cells, increase in cell tissue damage. And what are the mechanisms of hyperbaric? Reducing inflammation, improving vasculature, increasing oxygen levels where there's hypoxia, increasing stem cells where there's cell and tissue damage. So this way we can say, does it make sense to apply this therapy with these mechanisms on this person with this diagnosis and this pathophysiology? And in this case with neurological degenerative disease, including Parkinson's, I would say that the answer is yes. We will get right back to that video, but just real quick, if this information is helpful for you, if you don't mind, I'd really appreciate, like it, subscribe to the channel, and then share it with somebody who you think would benefit from this type of information. And now back to our video. Clinically, we've used hyperbaric for over 20 years, and we've treated dozens of patients with Parkinson's, and we've seen very meaningful improvements in their symptomatology and in their quality of life. When it comes to Parkinson's studies specifically, they've looked at cognitive impairment, quality of sleep, ADLs or activities of daily living, mitochondrial function, and stem cell mobilization. And in these studies, one of which was actually a pretty large study, about almost a thousand participants, they saw improvements in cognition, improvements in sleep, improvements in activities of daily living, improvements in quality of life, and measurable increases in mitochondrial function and stem cell circulation. We'll include links to those studies below. So as with any off-label condition, is hyperbaric oxygen the cure for Parkinson's? No, absolutely not. But is it a meaningful tool that could be used to help a patient diagnosed with Parkinson's improve their quality of life and reduce their symptomatology? It seems the answer is a resounding yes. So I hope this helps answer that question. And I hope if it's something that you're considering, you now understand whether or not it's a, an appropriate tool for you to look for or for you to utilize on your family or your patients in the near future. As always, thanks a lot for your time and attention. I hope you found this valuable and we'll see you next time.